Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. I am Preeti. In this today's video tutorial, I am going to explain how we can get a modern combo box selected value in Power Apps. Also, we will discuss how we can get a modern combo box selected value from a save point text field and as well as person field. So first of all, I have created some demos that I want to uh, show you. After that, I will implement one by one. So this is the application that I have created before. You can see in this screen, there is a, a modern combo box control and this is a label control. So I will preview it. I will show here. I have taken these values manually. So whenever I'm uh, selecting any particular value, you can see the result is appearing over the uh, level control. So you can see I can select multiple values of uh, uh, combo box control. In other control, uh, it is very easy to get a selected value uh, from any control. But in uh, particularly in the combo box control, it is little tricky to get the uh, selected value from a combo box. Because as we know in the combo box control, uh, it contains multiple values. So it is little bit of uh, tricky. So I will tell you how we can do that. Now I will show you uh, another example that I have uh, used SharePoint text field and as well as SharePoint person field. So here you can see this is the modern combo box control and uh, I will preview it and the values are I am getting from a SharePoint list. So whenever I am selecting a particular or uh, like uh, values from the combo box control, the result is appearing over this uh, label control. I will show you. This is my SharePoint list, the client details, and you can see this manager field is my uh, person column. So you can see manager, person, or group column. So I am retrieving all this data in the combo box control, and uh, I am uh, concatenating, all, concatenating all these values over this label control. And one more thing I will show you in this, uh, I will also tell you how we can get this project name and how we can get uh, like this is the title field single line of text how we can get all these values over in this modern uh, uh, combo box control and also how we can uh, get this result uh, uh, in this label control i will quickly create this uh, power apps new screen and i will show you one by one so here i have created i will take a power apps uh, combo box modern combo box control make sure you need to take modern combo box control because in modern combo box control it is little bit uh, different from the classic one so i have taken a com modern combo box control i will take the value first i will show you how we can do it manually also for the result thing i will take a label control uh, you can see i have taken a label control over here where i will show the result okay so you can see item one just i will change something like i will put the country name uk india australia okay so and i will put one more france okay uh, so here you can see this coming okay but some of uh, like in some cases what is happening you can't see the values instead of the values it is coming number like one two three four five like that so in that case what you will do you need to click on this uh, select this combo box uh, control and you just need to go to uh, this edit option just add field and just select this value now if you'll preview this one you can see but before it was showing so there will be no problem uh, like uh, creating this one so it will uh, come anyway so uh, as we know like in other control it is very much easier like uh, to get the uh, particular control selected value but in this case it is little bit different i will tell you because it is in because uh, this uh, this combo box contains multiple values okay so here it is very easy to get a single uh, if you want to get a single uh, selected value in a level then you can simply put the combo box control name combo box canvas one dot selected dot value like, like as we are doing uh, for uh, like any of the control so now i will preview it i will select any particular item you can see but 
you will notice that whenever you are choosing a the last item it is taking it is not taking it is not taking the multiple values okay so in that case i will use the concat function our apps concat function helps to combine or join the strings together so uh, like i have one code i have just cop i will just copy the code this one you can see sorry not this one this one is i already told you for the single uh, selected value for multiple uh, selected value we will use the concat function so i will put this one just i will change the combo box name combo box canvas one if you want to change the combo box name you can go double click here you can change i will change it to like from cmb country name i will come here and uh, you can see uh, like uh, this is the combo box control name it reflected automatically dot selected items comma value why it is taking value because you can see i have added this value so it is the uh, field name it is taking and then uh, the values will uh, separated with this delimiter that is comma so if i will preview this one and i will select okay so why this is coming make sure like you need to enable this one allow multiple selection if you will not uh, enable this option then it won't take the multiple value so make sure this should be enabled so now i will go to preview and you can see whenever i am choosing any of uh, the uh, like values from this combo box it is taking multiple values okay so in this way we can get multiple values in power apps combo box modern power apps combo box control okay next i will tell you uh, how we can uh, like uh, get selected value from modern combo box control uh, based upon this set point project name this is a single line of text field so i will tell you that so i will create another screen and here i will add again a modern combo box control so if you will search here the combo box control will appear over here you can see now like uh, i need uh, that first of all i need that uh, uh, what that uh, a project name okay so for first of all make ensure that that the set point list has been added to your uh, power apps application so this is client details is my set point list so now i will click on this and uh, i will write a code my list name is client details dot is i have taken as title so it is coming as title if there is any duplicate value then you can use the distinct function like uh, before the list name okay so now you can see number yeah exactly i was telling before like so in some cases it is coming as number so in that case what you need to do just select this modern combo box control click on edit and you can see add field option and just click on this title now once you added this title you can see all these things are coming like you can see in the list whatever the project names are here it is coming in this combo box control also you need to make sure it should be enabled this allow multiple selection will be enabled this is the first thing second how we can get this multiple values in that uh, uh, level control so uh, for that to see the result i will take a uh, uh, i will take a level control okay i will just copy paste the code that i have already uh, uh, collected so what i need to do in the text property you need to put this code and make sure the combo box name should be uh, like uh, should the combo box name should be proper okay so combo box canvas to selected item here you need to put comma here you need to put the uh, text field name set point text field name and here whatever the delimiter you want to uh, separate i mean you can put comma you can put uh, full stop you can put hyphen whatever you want you can give here now i will preview it and once i will select any any of these value from this modern control you can see everything is coming in this level control okay now next i will tell you how we can get a modern power uh, apps combo box selected value from a set point person field here you can see this is manager is my person field 
uh, now I want to get all these uh, details in my modern combo box control. For that, I will take again a, a modern combo box control. So I will take like this and uh, I will I will put this code. Because this why I put this distinct function because in my list there are multiple values like multiple managers name like you can see duplicate user 2 user 2 user 3 user 3 I don't want duplicate value so that's for that reason I have taken distinct function this is my list name and the manager is my person column we need to take the dot display name if email is there then we need to take dot email okay now I will go here I need to add this value okay so i have added and if i will preview this one you can see it is not coming any duplicacy value okay it is coming single value and also be ensured that like we need to enable this allow multiple selection option else you cannot allow else you cannot select multiple values from this combo box control now i need to i need to get all these values in a level control so for that reason I have taken one text level uh, control over here where it should display all the values, selected values. Okay. And I have collected the uh, code over here. You can see in the text property, I need to write it. Here you need to put the proper combo box name, combo box canvas not two, it is three. Okay. So combo box canvas three dot selected item value is like i have chosen this uh, field so it is my field name value and uh, you can see uh, i have separated all these strings with the delimiter that is comma so now you can see i have already selected so that's why it is coming and uh, like it, again i will select it is coming like this okay so in this way we can get all the selected value from modern combo box control also uh, I have written a full article on this. You can see in spguides.com. You can visit this spguides.com and uh, you can get all the details over here. So if you really like this video, kindly uh, like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you and have a nice day.